Perfect World Episode 73 trailer has been updated. Since Sher Hao sets foot on Bulo Mountain, his journey is destined to be full of difficulties. Sher Hao just wants to find his parents. Bulo Mountain is coveting Sher Hao's throne and the supreme bone in his body. After Sher Hao defeats Venerable Qin Fa, he senses a sharp breath approaching rapidly. The surrounding mountains change color. Cumulus clouds surge. A few moments later, a white figure jumps down from the sky, standing face to face with Sher Hao. The person who comes is Sher Hao's younger brother Qin Hao. Sher Hao's heart freezes, he just looks at the guy. He guesses the identity of the boy in front. This strange resonance in the body comes from the fetters of blood. Qin Hao wears silver armor and is extraordinary in heroism. The handsome face has no emotional fluctuations. A pair of golden pupils are full of aloofness that looks down on the world. He is eager to fight with his brother Sher Hao. He is eager to prove himself. The fighting spirit fills Qin Hao's body, and the long spear in his hand shakes with a sonorous sound. Then Qin Hao steps heavily, and the ground bursts open instantly. He is like a cannonball rushing towards Sher Hao. Sher Hao's eyes sinks, he doesn't expect to meet his younger brother just now. Then two brothers will face each other with swords, facing the fast spear. Sher Hao still stands on the spot, but his figure flickers. Cleverly avoids Qin Hao's attack. Sher Hao deliberately restrains his breath, but does not show his true strength. Qin Hao's talent is truly strong, but he is two years younger than Sher Hao. The real combat power can't be compared with Sher Hao. After fighting several tricks, Qin Hao's eyes become more and more solemn. The face has lost the previous confidence and ease. This brother's strength is far beyond his imagination. Even if Sher Hao is just playing perfunctorily, he couldn't hurt Sher Hao in the slightest. A wave of unwillingness and resentment rise from the bottom of his heart, and there is a fierce look in the golden eyes. Qin Hao yells, the energy of the whole body is concentrated on the left foot. He kicks Sher Hao violently. Sher Hao's arm surges with divine power, easily blocking his younger brother's full strength kick. Then a punch is received, sending Qin Hao flying away. Qin Hao steps back several dozen steps before barely stabilizing his body. The unwillingness in heart is getting stronger and stronger. How could the gap between him and his brother be so far away? This time Qin Hao pours his breath into the spear and hurls it towards Sher Hao. The long spear turns into a shooting star and sweeps towards Sher Hao with the potential to break the sky. However, Sher Hao swings the blade at will. Then blocks this violent long spear. Qin Hao wants to fight again when a hoarse voice suddenly sounds. The person who speaks is named Qin Zhan, and he is also a venerable of Bulo Mountain. Extremely crazy personality, paranoid obsession with martial arts. In order to become stronger, he can do anything he can, treating life like a mustard. As soon as Qin Zhan appears, he uses words to stimulate Qin Hao. Inspires Qin Hao's war against Sher Hao. Then, Qin Zhan mobilizes the magic circle of Bulo Mountain. The golden light in the sky is prosperous, and the creation of the heaven and the earth converges. It turns into gurgling spiritual power and pours into Qin Hao's body. After a while, Qin Hao's breath becomes more and more fierce, and his strength is several times tyrannical. The armor on his body also changes from the previous silver to a striking red. At the same time, a beautiful woman in the valley feels something. The beautiful oval face suddenly appears surprised, and then shouts excitedly. Sure how, I feel sure how. Sure how's mother senses the eldest son's breath. Not only that, she senses that both sons are nearby. Sure Xiling, Sure how's father, accompanies his wife intimately, looking towards the periphery of the valley. At this time, both of them are violently churning, looking forward to seeing Sure how again. However, what they don't know is that the two sons are fighting each other. The energy of the two brothers make the whole mountain tremble. Qin Zhan sees the slaughter of the brothers, and a satisfied smile appears on his face. While watching the battle leisurely, he does not forget to add fuel to the fire. Tell Sher Hao that the great demon god, who is Sher Hao's grandfather, is injured by him, and he vomits blood repeatedly. At this moment, the anger that Sher Hao had been restraining all along exploded. The anger in his eyes turns into two divine flames, burning more than ever. The bursting breath on the body sets off layers of air waves on the ground, like a demon descending. Qin Hao is deeply shocked by this scene. The elder brother in front of him actually makes him feel a heart palpitation from his soul. Sher Hao doesn't do anything to Qin Hao. His murderous eyes locked on Qin Zhan. Bulo Mountain has shot his family again and again, and even arranges for them to kill each other. These completely touched his red line. Sher Hao's right hand points to the sky. Rumbling, the space erupts with a sharp hissing sound. This is the sound of the void being torn apart. A sword halberd with golden light all over the body, containing the meaning of divine power, cuts through the void and appears in the Bulo Mountain. Sher Hao summons the national suppressing halberd. He is really angry. He wants to kill Qin Zhan with the halberd in his hand and overturn the Bulo Mountain. 